Getty Images Goldman Sachs sank on Wall Street Tuesday on quarterly earnings that reported weak stock trading results, compounded by worries that strong gains in bond sales were a fluke and that a years-long trend of weak results would continue. The bank's 19% increase in profit to $9.4 billion during the three months ending in June was overshadowed by flat stock trading revenue and gains in an area of lending that analysts fear won't continue or run. Goldman delivered a revenue-driven beat. Total trading revenues missed our estimate and the beat was driven by revenue items that may not run rate. Brian Klein-Hansel, analyst at Keefe Bruett. Still, opinions were mixed about the results. The bank, which has been dragged by investors for its weak trading in bonds, currencies and commodities, posted a 44% gain in that division, to $1.67 billion. It does not look like there is any real reason for a GS sell-off. The market is being stupid again. Octavio Morenzi, CEO of consultancy Opimas, told The Post. Shares fell nearly 2% to $227.42 during early morning trading. The sell-off further cemented a rough year for Goldman, which is trailing all of the major banks, including the scandal-plagued Wells Fargo, in the stock market this year. The bank has fallen more than 16% to $273.38 on March 12, its lowest since late 2016. The earnings are the next-to-last report card for Lloyd Blackfine, the longtime CEO, who announced he is stepping down as an executive on Sept. 30.